Hello. Um, I'm going to tell you a personal story about a time when I was young and a little bit naive. So to start off, I have to tell you a little bit about the college I went to. It's called Salve Regina University. And one of the reasons why it was really cool is because they dormed their students in converted mansions. So here I am, 17, and living in a mansion, which was pretty cool. But in order to turn a mansion into dorms, um, the rooms are a little bit odd. For example, I had three other roommates and little tiny stairs within my room. But we shared a bathroom, which was really awesome because if you've ever lived in dorms, sharing a bathroom with too many people gets a little gross. So we shared a bathroom. Really awesome. Except I had a problem. Every night, I would take my shower, I'd get out of the shower, and I'd put my hair up in my towel. I'm going to demonstrate this for you, just to add to the story a little bit. All right, I'm sure this is a pretty familiar look for some of you. Um, so I put my hair up like this, and then I would sneeze until I went to bed. I'm not talking like cute, adorable sneezes either. These were body shaken, drippy, gross sneezes. And this was every single time I showered. I was just gonna live with it until finally one of my roommates said, hey, are you okay? This seems to be happening a lot. It's kind of gross. And if you've ever sneezed for hours at a time, you get a little bit dizzy. And in my case, I got a little bit dramatic. So I was like, nope, I must be allergic to my hair. This is just how I have to live from now on. <sighs> Thankfully, my roommates were a little bit more logical. And they stopped me and said, you're not allergic to your hair. You've been living with it for the past 17 years. We'll figure this out. So they thought about it for a little while. They looked at me in my towel like this. And they asked, when was the last time you washed that towel? I was a freshman in college. So the answer was, it had been a while since I washed the towel. So I took the towel off. I washed it. It was clean. But the next time I took a shower, same thing happened. Sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. My tongue would even roll when I sneezed, like a kind of thing. It was kind of scary. So my roommates were not done. They were like, we're figuring this out. While I'm over there like, nope, I'm allergic to my hair. This is the way it's going to be. They, they didn't let me do that for very long. So they went into the shower, since that's where everything happened. And they noticed mold inside of the shower. And this makes sense because I'm allergic to mold, not my hair. My stupidity didn't stop there though. So what we should have done is call the facilities, have them come over and remove the mold. That's the great part about living on campus. There are people to take care of those things for you. We didn't know that. So instead, we went to Stop and Shop and bought a gallon of bleach. We weren't completely stupid, though. We knew that we had to delete the bleach before putting it on the walls. Unfortunately, we didn't have a bucket. It wasn't on our freshman college packing list. What we did have was a dustpan. So we put our bleach in the dustpan, tried to dilute it this way. It's really difficult um, because of how shallow it is. Um, we didn't do a great job. The mold was gone. I stopped sneezing. But the dorm smelled like bleach for a couple of weeks. So the story has a few good morals. One, find friends who are willing to make sure that you're healthy and okay. Two, ask questions. See if there's people that can help you with things. And three, we all make mistakes, sometimes strange ones. Uh, you just have to learn and learn to live to, with the smell of bleach. Thank you. That is my personal story.